Hey guys, today I would like to show you a really cool car control that looks something like this. Okay, so now you can have the spectator select any car that they like. Let's say they say stop right here, okay? And let's say they selected the six of spades. And now I'm gonna insert it into the center of the deck, okay? Right in the center. And as you can see, it's really in the center, okay? And I push it in. Now, if I give it a snap, it's gonna jump to the top, okay? So that is the performance. Let's get into the explanation. Hey guys, so here is the explanation of the card control. So as you can see in the performance, I would like to let the spectator select the card by dribbling through the card and have them say stop. And there's a reason why, okay? So here's the reason why. I like to have them. So basically the, the card control looks something like this, okay? You kind of you use, you take the top card and kind of create a little gap right here. And of course, don't, do not let the spectator see the gap. So it looks like this. It's at an angle with the deck, okay? And now, here's how it works, okay? You insert it in the back. And from the front, it looks like here's a little bit of depth, okay? So that it definitely looks like you've put the card into the center of the deck, okay? So here's how to do it. Here's the basic move, okay? The basic move is that when you have a spectator select a card, let's say they say they selected the four of spades, and now you can get a break underneath one card, okay? So how to get a break underneath one card, you can do a pinky count, like one card, and or you can just push a card towards your right side with your thumb and then you pull back and slide your fingers in and that's going to create a break okay and there's the easiest way is to just insert it and a lot of people say that you should kind of like add a bit of it looks like you kind of put an effort into put it into put it in into with that so but I don't think that's necessary and another cool thing is that you can be able to kind of push the card kind of in the middle of the deck and you can see some cards pop out from the middle like one you can do it kind of one two twice and then the third time you insert it into this break and you you can let them see from from the front okay like it really has a little bit of distance in between the top of the deck and their selected card okay so now if you insert it into the center and i would like to transfer this whole thing and do a dribble okay so if you don't know how to do a dribble i'll put a link in the description down below okay and now don't it's gonna be second from the top and the only thing that you have to do is to do a double lift okay and I have a lot of tutorials on how to do a double lift you can check out on my channel or I'll put the link in the description down below as well okay so now I've done another thing in the performance which I really like so at the beginning of the explanation I told you that I like people to select the card by dribbling the cards right because here's what here's how here's why I would like them to dribble down I would like to dribble down the cards and if they say stop they can take the card and now when I put the top half of the deck back I'll insert my pinky into the break okay and when I put this this half of the deck back I don't just put it on top I kind of like put it in this position okay so that my pinky could be able to contact the the 
the bottom card, in this case the Ten of Clubs. And then I push the entire deck forward so that my pinky retains one card back a little bit, okay? And you shouldn't do it too much so that the spectator doesn't see that this card is popping out, okay? And now you can make, get a break. So here's the position that you're in. And when you take their card back, you put it in the middle and push it in, okay? And then you can say, okay, so I really push it in, put it into the center of the deck, as you can see, okay? So, again, have them select a card. Let's say you selected the nine of clubs. And now, you use your pinky, okay, to kind of put it on top. And now, you put the, the top half of the deck back like this. And use your pinky to contact the bottom card and push forward a little bit so that your pinky retains a little card. And then, let go. Okay, you don't have to hold the break. Okay. And now, you push the top card pull back, get a break underneath one card, take their card, insert it into the center, say, I'm going to put your card into the center, okay, and now release the break, and you can see, you can let the spectator see, yeah, really, I really put it into the center of the deck, okay, so now push it in, and do whatever double lift that you like, and that is how to do it. And now you're really in a really good position that you can insert a card into the deck and then it appears on top again. So that is a really good card control that I really like. And so if you like my video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. And if you want more magic contents, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial video. Peace out.